welcome to traffic in this video we are going to discuss how we can do the practical work of mysql mysql is not that important for pre board practical and even metric practical but still some school might ask you to do the practical so for that i am sh showing you here how you can do it and for c programming you can see the prime number program and patterns different type of pattern like uh, triangular pattern pyramids and that numbers 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 2 numbers again 1 1 2 1 1 2 3 2 1 2 this type of patterns you can see and array is one like enter the elements of an array and display the elements and uh, string array is like enter your name and display so this type of program you can see for from c programming now let's do how to do the mysql practical first let's open the book and let's see one question from there <coughs> so here is the question create a table customer in the database club mart and the table have this things customer id integer primary key customer name not null customer mobile worker not null and customer category character one okay now for that first we'll go to start and in search book you will write my sql and we'll open the mysql command line and at first we'll have to give the password whatever password you have provided during the installation or wherever you are doing the practical in which school that school particular password will be there you can ask the teacher or whoever in the lab and you can type that password my password is 1234 so i'm typing 1234 and okay so can welcome screen here first i will have to create a database so i am writing the code create database club mart let's see the spelling k l u b m a r t then semicolon this query will create the database so database creation successful now after creating the database <laughs> we'll have to use the database <coughs> what did the query is use club mart semicolon enter database change scheme that means our database is our current database is club mart now we'll have to create the table let's see the question the table name is customer and the table have these three columns id name mobile category so let's do it first create table customer after the bracket we'll move to the next line or you can carry on in same line also here first we'll write let's see what is the data type customer id int <clears throat> i am writing the table command again if you think that you did some mistake just you can write semicolon and hit enter okay then you can again type the query from the beginning so create table customer c u s t o m e r bracket next line here customer c u s T O M E R customer ID data type is INT and constraint is primary key comma now next we will do customer name C U S T O M E R name data type worker size twenty and constraint is not null. MySQL is not case sensitive, so you can write either in capital or small letters. It doesn't matter. Now, customer mobile.
कस्टमर मोबाइल वर्कर साइज 11 नॉट नल देन कस्टमर कैटेगरी here i am giving character 1 as size and here the user will get other x y or z okay now what bracket we have started here this bracket we will close it here so here bracket closing will be two times after that semicolon if you do not have any mistake then it will come as query okay as i do not have any mistake so it's came query okay now let's go to the sub question question number 2 display the structure of the table so for that we will write d e s c then the table name c u s t o m e r so this is the table structure now question number 3 insert five records for that we will write insert into customer values suppose id is 1 name is amit then phone number is 9864012345 and category is x semicolon enter so one record entered for second one you can click on up arrow then previous code will appear here just you do few changes like i am making the category y and in place of amit i am giving some other name arjun and id also i am writing it as 2 so this way you can write five times now let's move to question number 4 display all the records for that you will write select star from customer so this will display all the record i have at present two records only now display name and customer mobile only we need only two fields means so we will write select name not directly name customer name comma mobile from customer then semicolon so this way we will get customer name and mobile number after that display the customer name whose category is x so for that we will write select customer name from customer where customer category equal x so this way we will get only the x category customer after that display the customer id whose customer category x or z so the query will be almost same after that we can use or op operator or customer category equal y so you'll see now i'm getting both now the last one display the distinct customer category so we will write here select distinct then in bracket customer name or oh, sorry customer category from customer then and or oh, i think spelling is wrong c u s t o so this i have two category only x y this two appear here so this way you can do mysql practical and while you do mysql practical you don't close the screen first you show the invisible letter who is in examination hall to your teacher whoever is there after that only you close because again if you open the mysql server you will get your table and datas but the queries whatever you have written it will be vanished 
so it will be difficult again to write so better do not close the screen so that you can show the code to your teacher so that's why you can do the mysql practical and if you need any help in c programming you can write in comment section by evening or night i will make some other video for c programming thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye